Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna show you a little tutorial on how I do my edges. I don't usually do my edges with my hair straight, but since it's getting a bit tatty and old, I don't mind doing it. So this is two week hair. My curly to straight routine will either be up already or it will be up and coming. Um, it's a new routine that I've used and it's the best I've used so far. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, I'm just going to do my edges just to make myself look a bit more polished, as you do. So I'm using the ORS Edge Control. I really do like this Edge Control. I've used the Cream of Nature one, didn't like it. And I think I've used another brand before that and I didn't like it but I could have been using the product wrong and possibly if I did my edges like I do now with that product it probably would have worked so yeah just get your edge control of your choice my hairline is a bit boxy you know what I mean and I got a widow's peak so it's a bit of a weird one for me so I don't do too much really so yeah I just apply the edge control directly on my baby hairs. I don't want it to be on the long hairs. I'm just going to put a little bit here as well, just because I want that to look a bit more polished. I do my widow's peak and I just sweep it this way. So you do want to apply enough because the product does start to melt quite quickly. And I did used to use Eco Gel, but Eco Gel flakes a lot when I use it on my edges. Yeah, so I don't like to use Eco Gel. And also, if I use Eco Gel on my hair straight, it will make my hair revert. So that's a big no. Right, so that's all the products in. So now I'm just gonna style my edges. With this Widow's Peak part, I like to just comb my hair around like this. Brush it. So I just swirl it round like that and once I put my hair over it looks much better. But um, that's what I do for my widow's peak because it's kind of peak. <laughs> Any long hairs just take them out. Mm, it's the long hair. Those are long hairs, man. Yes, yeah, so those are a lot of long hairs. So it's making it look too heavy. So swoop, place your finger there. Swoop, place your finger there. And swoop, place your finger there. And then you get this kind of pattern. And then I just take this comb and sweep it across. But because my hairline is so square, this is what suits me the best. And yeah, so I just continue to do that for the rest of the edges. Place my finger there while I sweep it across and it won't move. And then one more. So, and then for like these parts here, which is a bit gappy, I just like to use my brush to just sweep it back, but hold it down while you do that. I'm gonna do the other side as well. I'm gonna work fast now because this is gonna to start to melt. See, my baby hairs are quite short. <laughs> I know some people actually cut the fronts of their hair to make up some baby hairs. Like what you see when people do lace fronts, they cut the front to make edges. But yeah, I'm happy with my little short. <laughs> That side doesn't show much anyway, so it doesn't actually matter what it looks like. So, yep, that's all I do. I'm just gonna comb my hair back a little bit. So this is where I probably went wrong with my edge control in the past. I never used to set my edges at all. 
and it just used to melt off and that's why I preferred using eco gel over edge control but no eco style is trash for edges honestly you get the most flakes so yeah I'm just gonna set these edges for about five minutes and um, yeah so just put my scarf on you don't want the scarf to move at all so I'm gonna place it where I want it to be on my head first and then I'm just tightening it like that don't move it at all <laughs> Or else it's just going to slip and slide. So yeah, I just leave it like that for about five minutes. So I do like these edges scarf because they don't leave an imprint on my head when I take it off. And, you know, they're the perfect size for the front of your hair. And it's satin too. I got these off Amazon. I got two in a pack. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it for five minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now. I'm just going to take the head scarf down. And again, you don't want to roughly take it down, you want to take it down gently. And this is what my edges are looking like, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Just for a quick thumbnail picture, I'm going to put on this little nice headband just to really showcase these edges. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. And um, this headband, I got it from Misguided, I believe. So that's how I do my edges pretty quick and easy. And this will last me all day, um, unless it's a very hot day and I'm sweating. So yeah, this won't last if I'm sweating at all. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.